Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. This is an unexpected video because I was going to be putting it off for the holiday. I'm traveling to Vegas to do a store tour um, back at uh, Lifestyle AVI. And uh, so I was gonna postpone the video, but I decided to make this one for you guys because I had a vinyl come in and I wanted to show you guys uh, how I clean it. So I went ahead and made that video for you yesterday. And um, I wanted to uh, do this intro because you guys know I have my Electric Company Up piece here. And uh, when I first got it, I streamed with uh, AirPlay from my iTunes on my computer. Well, I since got Tidal, and this actually, this window switches to Tidal when I stream to it. But uh, I got the master subscription because I guess they dropped their prices. It's only 26 bucks and um, uh, 30 day trial. So I logged in and I actually used to work at a store and had a bunch of playlists and everything that it remembered. A lot of my deep house and trance stuff and jazz. So I went ahead and uh, streamed it for about two hours and blown away by the upgrade in quality. Uh, you know, when I did my demo with you guys, I, I, I believe I did, did uh, yeah, I, I demoed it and it was okay. N nothing compared to the CD player, um, you know, uh, but streaming it now, it equals, well, I wouldn't say equals, but it's very, very pleasing to listen to. No digital harshness, open, airy, good soundstage detail. I listen with no listener fatigue for a couple hours. So for those of you guys who are streaming and you don't have Tidal, um, th this piece actually has Tidal Connect. Um, it doesn't do MQA. The, the new version 2 uh, does, the ECM2, but this one doesn't. But um, I just want to give you guys an update on that, that it's pretty killer piece for streaming audio quality. Up converts to 2492. But I wanted to give uh, an update to you guys on that because a lot of you guys were asking, hey, did you ever, you know, play Toddle through it instead of just the AirPlay? So it is an upgrade. Okay, and with that, we will get on to the, uh, to the video of my turntable, okie-nokie uh, cleaning device and how I clean my vinyl. Okay, thanks guys. Bye-bye. Hey guys, you're probably not going to see much of me in this video, but I've been wanting to do this for such a long time. I just got a new album, uh, Solar Energy, uh, Ray Brown Trio, and I wanted to give you guys a, uh, oh, Gene Harris is on there too, by the way, Ray Brown, Gene Harris. Uh, I wanted to do a video on how I clean my vinyl, because like everybody else, I started in the sink with soap, and then I got the Record Doctor that you can hand spin, and I, I, I really just had a lot of bad luck until I got my Okinoki machine here. And I've got the camera set up to where you can see my record cleaning process. So um, I'm gonna share that with you for those of you who are interested. So what I do, because obviously uh, with a device that the vinyl touches the dirty side and the clean side as you flip it on this mat, I use a uh, vinyl roller, uh, the Vinyl Buddy. I have a couple of these. I also use it to clean my vinyl before each play. I treat the surface to make sure that there's no dust on it or any particles left over from a previous album or from the side that I flip over after the other side's clean. So I do this on each, each time just to prep the surface. Yes, I'm OCD, okay? Um, then I take the vinyl, side one here, and you put it on the machine. Usually the hole fits pretty well. Yeah, it does, right, right down on there. Okie dokie really got that center punch right. Then, then I screw down the vinyl, just, just, just hand tight, obviously. You don't wanna crimp it too hard, but that prevents the record coming up when it's suctioned by the cleaning device. Okay, so uh, my first step, once it's mounted, is to use an enzyme cleaner. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. It's Mobile Fidelity Enzyme Cleaner. Turn the machine on. This isn't an ad for Okinoki, by the way. I just love this machine, uh, and it's what I've chosen for my personal use. I think it was around $500, and I got an acrylic top on it for free. Now, this enzyme cleaner by Mobile Fidelity is a little bit different than other uh, enzyme cleaners I've used. When I spread this on, it uh, does not stay on the top and sit. It's a high tension formula. So uh, it actually kind of dissolves or lifts up all of the material out of the vinyl. 
So what I, what I do is I just let it spin here a little bit. This is a Mobile Fidelity record brush I also use. Let it do a few rotations to get into the grooves. Then I reverse the motor and clean the grooves the opposite direction. I'm not applying any pressure to the brush. I'm just gently letting it sit and letting the brush go into the grooves. I've done this on over 300 records with good results. So this is what I use. Now I'll let it sit here for a while. I think uh, sometimes you can go two or three minutes. I won't let it sit that, this long because obviously we're doing the video. But I let it sit on there, let the uh, uh, enzymes do their thing. They eat away any, any molds or dust. And th this record was graded in excellent condition when, when I, when I, you know, who I bought it from. So I'm going to hope that that is the truth here. Um, I do see a slight, hope that comes out. I do see a slight piece of dirt or something on there that hopefully we can get off with the vinyl. So I let this sit for, for a couple minutes. And then what I do is I actually take a horsehair brush and I get it wet first with more of the enzyme cleaner. And then I will actually do the brush also across the surface just for any stubborn. Again, this is what I do for older records. I, this is not new, this is used. So I do clean the surface twice with the enzyme cleaner. So I just let this go through a few times, lift up any garbage that's on there. Then I reverse it. This really spreads the uh, material nice. And I'll let it sit for a minute more. And then we're gonna vacuum it off. Now, for pieces like this, I can see a mark on here, like a, it's almost like a, I don't know, a piece of glue or something. I'm sure it's gonna make a noise, but uh, I usually take a toothpick or something and work that out, or you can use a little, you know, like a toothpick and alcohol on that. But for now, that's good enough. So we're gonna go ahead and rinse her off, or I'm um, sorry, uh, clean, clean it off. Now this is gonna make some, some noise, so I hope it's not too loud in the mic if you're wearing headphone, headphones, I'm giving you a fair warning here. This is a little loud. <laughs> So that is the first step. The second step, I use Mobile Fidelity Record Wash. This I do not let sit for a minute or two. I just brush it in both directions uh, and then uh, rinse it off. So a second brush, I don't use the same one that I use for the enzyme cleaner. This is a second brush and I bring this over the top. This will clear out any of the enzyme cleaner that I had on the previous treatment. Again, I'm not applying pressure, I'm just gently setting it on the vinyl. And then I reverse it, let it get the other, the grooves in the other direction. Then we vacuum that off. The third step is Mobile Fidelity Record Rinse. This is uh, basically ultra pure, high tension water, ultra purified. So I use this to get off any remnants, if there is any, of the enzymes to get off the record wash stage. This is a third Mobile Fidelity brush. I never contaminate and mix, mix the three. So this is the rinse. I don't go both ways with the rinse in the, on this uh, 
Here I just go one way with the rinse. I don't know where I read that one time that somebody said you don't need to go opposite directions on the rinse cycle for the for the cleaning, but I just go one way for the rinse. Okay, so that's the first rinse. We'll vacuum it off. And we do a second one just to make sure. Right, OCD I know, but sometimes that second treatment with fluid really makes a difference with the, uh, with the water. Now I change the pads on here, on the arm, about every 150 albums so that they don't scratch. And I rinse it off after every use. So the pads you can get really inexpensively. They come with like two, two, two pair and a set and they last me for a couple years. Okay, so that's the second rinse, and then we vacuum that off. Now, if you notice, I did two cycles on that last vacuum, just to make sure I got the last uh, uh, of, the, of the liquid fluid completely dry off of there since we're done with the treatment, okay? So after that, I take it off. Now, and, and, and I'd be cleaning side two, obviously, which means that I would be using my treatment here with the record brush to get off any contaminants. So that we're clean and good to go for side two. And then side two, cleaning is next. Now, if I was uh, done with side two, what I would do is I would hit, hit it with the, the, the melty anti-static gun and slide it into the MoFi um, sleeve. And that is how I treat my records when I clean them. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in about two weeks, going to Las Vegas for Thanksgiving to shoot a video uh, of uh, Lifestyle AVI. They've got the MBL set up in there now, and I really wanna do an audio demo for you guys on those. So it'll be a trip back to Vegas in a couple weeks for my next video. I just wanted to share this with you in the meantime so I could have something up. All right, talk to you, talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye now.